this video is for room report. The room report template is intended to be used in situations where a report is needed that shows item on one page, and all of the rooms that that item is in on that same page. So it'll be one page with one item showing all of the rooms. This is useful for unloading trucks and staging furniture. Here I am in worksheet. I have a worksheet open. Its name is room report. I've set some worksheet properties up for this worksheet so that it will populate fields within the report template. The report title is room report. I also have a prepared for value set. This prepared for contact has a name and a company. Prepare for company is what will display in the report. I also have a logo set within preferences. This is a system setting, so every worksheet will display this logo. So I have multiple instances of the same part number. They're in different rooms. The room value is an alias column. So I have this exec mesh chair in room A, I have it in room B, and I have it in room C. I have different quantities for them. I also have this task FABA chair. It also is assigned to room A, room B, room C with different quantities for each. These chairs are all uniquely optioned out. So let's apply the report. The report can be applied from the report designs dropdown. Click on the report designs and you'll see the three new reports that are shipping with the 2018.0 release. You can also apply them from the reports menu. Go to reports, apply report design, and there are the three reports there. I'm going to apply the room report template. This is a room report template. I'll show the whole page here. It's a simple report. It shows the worksheet title, the prepared for company, the logo, the worksheet file name, the date the report was created, and the page number of the total number of pages. In the main body of the report, what it will do is it will consolidate all of the items by their part number, regardless of any of the other qualities of the item. Back in a worksheet, there were these exec mesh, there were three of them, they had different options. But in the report, they're consolidated to the exec mesh. So there's a grand total of six. See back in the worksheet, there are four of this particular chair, one of this one, and one of this one. So there are six exec mesh chairs, but they are three unique line items in the worksheet. The report, however, will consolidate those down into one item. It shows the quantity of six, shows the manufacturer name, it shows the part number again, and it shows the description for the item. Here's the locations box. This shows you room A, and then it shows the quantity that's in room A in parentheses there. Room B, the quantity in parentheses, and room C, the quantity in parentheses. The image preview that you see within the report is the last instance of that item in the worksheet. The way this report is organized is that each group gets its own page. So let's go look at the second page. The second page shows you the, the task FABA chair, quantity six, manufacturer name, part number again, and the description, broken down by location again. This report is most useful when you have items that are identical when it comes to their options. What this allows for is for staging of furniture as they're unloaded off the truck. This is especially useful in educational settings where there might be 40 rooms and they all have the same chair. This will tell the quantity total for the project and it will show the quantity of each chair that gets placed in that particular room. This report is less useful when the chairs are all uniquely optioned because it will consolidate them into a group by their part number. If the items are unique, that uniqueness is ignored when they're consolidated into this page of the report. The locations below are driven exclusively off of the alias value. So that's Room Report. It has specific uses for specific applications, and I hope that you get value out of this feature. Thank you.